Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Saturday show right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready, friends, to review what we have learned this week with Gabe and Andrea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are so happy that you are with us today. We are going to review everything that we learned. Together. Whoa, whoa, Andrea, you sound like you're giving a speech or something. Well, yes, I was practicing. Just like Sarah, she was practicing a speech this week. Yes, she was. And Max gave her some advice. He said, tell a joke. And I see, Andrea, that you are smiling and that you are calm and confident. That's very important when you're giving a speech. Well, thank you. It's also important to review. Conversation replay. Sarah, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Max. She's practicing. What are you practicing, Sarah? I'm practicing my speech. Your speech? Are you giving a speech? Yes, I'm in a speech contest. Really? What is your speech about? Listen and find out. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think? Your speech is good. Really? Yes, but. But what? You are too serious. Smile. Tell a joke. A joke? I don't know. How long is your speech? Four minutes and twenty seconds. How long can your speech be? Five minutes. Then you can tell a joke. Record your speech too. Then you can listen to it and make it better. Okay. And practice your speech at the diner. More people can hear it. Great idea. When is the contest? It is next week. I can practice a lot before then. You can. Everyone can hear your speech again and again and again. <laughs> and <laughs> we're ready, Sarah. You can begin your speech now. But Betty isn't here yet. She'll be here soon. I have an idea. Give your speech now, then give it again when she comes. Okay. Thank you all for coming to listen to me. Sure, we're happy to listen. After my speech, please give me some advice. We will. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, do you like bicycles? Yes. Then maybe you can answer my question. Why can't bicycles stand up without help? Good question. Because they are too tired. <laughs> I don't get it. Too tired. Bicycles have two tires. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but not that funny. No one laughed but Simon. Hmm. Maybe I need a different joke. Hi everyone. Sorry I'm late. I brought a new friend with me. Welcome. Thank you. He's visiting our town. You look just like Roger Young, the famous singer. He is Roger Young, the famous singer. <gasps> nice to meet you, everyone. What are you doing in small town? I'm going to be a judge for the speech contest tomorrow. <gasps> oh. You are a judge? Oh no! 
What's wrong? I'm in the speech contest. I can't speak in front of someone famous. Sure, you can. Forget about me. Just prepare well. Where are you staying? With my uncle. I'm only in town for two days. He came to the post office. I asked him to come here to meet my friends. So, what are the contest rules? Each person can speak for five minutes. Then judges give points for the speaker's ideas and presentation. What does the winner get? Five hundred dollars. Wow. Can I ask you something, Roger? Sure. Will you sing for us? Sure. I'll sing for you today, and Sarah will speak for me tomorrow. Okay. Simon, they're here. <clears throat> Congratulations, Sarah. You're a winner. I didn't win the contest, but you did a fantastic job. And you will always be a winner to us. Oh, thanks. So, tell us about the contest. Were you nervous speaking in front of a big audience? I would have been so nervous. <laughs> Renee, let Sarah talk. Right. Sorry. I was nervous. Did I seem nervous? No. You looked calm. And confident. Thanks. I had fun. When the audience laughed at my joke, I felt great. <laughs> It was a funny joke. <laughs> so, did the judges like your speech? Did they like your outfit? I helped her choose it. They didn't say anything about my clothes, but they said I expressed myself well. I'm not surprised. You express yourself well when you write too. Thank you, Simon. The judges also told me how I can improve. That's great. Hey, Simon, thanks for helping out here so I could go to Sarah's contest. You're welcome. I'd rather cook than listen to speeches. <laughs> so would I. But I loved Sarah's speech. <laughs> On the go. This week on the go, we learned about an Olympic sport. Gabe, do you remember what sport we talked about? Ah,、uh, yes, yes, I do.、Um, right, it's about、uh, gymnastics. Yes, gymnastics, and we met some kids who are very good gymnasts. Remember, a gymnast. Is someone who can do gymnastics. They can do gymnastics, and we can learn about gymnastics right here on Let's Talk in English. Well, let's review our on the go. On the go. Hi, everyone. Today I'm at Luodong Junior High School. I'm here to learn about a very fun sport. Which sport? Gymnastics. Let's go on the go. Here at Luodong Junior High School, they have a big gym just for gymnastics. People train for gymnastics here and compete here too. Look at these little children. Are they learning how to do gymnastics? 
someone who does gymnastics is called a gymnast. To be a great gymnast, you need to start training when you are very young. Young gymnasts can stretch their bodies much easier than older gymnasts. Starting to train earlier is always better. You'll be stronger. Hi, I'm new here. What's your name? My name is Zikai. Zikai? How old are you? I am 11. 11? Whoa! Before gymnasts start training, they will need to do a lot of stretching. Stretching is very important before any kind of sport. Hey, Tsukai, can you show me some stretches that gymnasts do? Okay. <laughs> okay, um, you did a split. I don't think I can do that. I might hurt something. Uh, can you show me something a little easier? Okay. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> okay, I'm all stretched. Now I'm ready to try an event. Hmm. I know. I'll try the horizontal bar. Ah. Hey, look! I can pull myself up with one hand. Uh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm cheating. <laughs> Maybe it's not as easy as it looks. Hey, let's see what a trained gymnast can do. There are three events in gymnastics that use bars. Two events, the horizontal bar and parallel bars, are for boys. And one event, uneven bars, is for girls. When using bars, a gymnast hangs on to the bars and spins around them and does different twists and turns. One of the most important parts of any gymnastic event is the landing. Gymnasts must learn how to finish well. Gymnastic coaches spend a lot of time with gymnasts on their landing. Learning how to land well isn't easy. Gymnasts may fall many times before they land well. That's why there are many mats here at the gym. The mats keep the gymnasts safe when they jump and fall down. Oh, oh. Wow! These gymnasts are really good. <sighs> I think I need to try something a little easier. Let's find another event. <sighs> oh. Oh. These kids are really good. Doing gymnastics takes a lot of energy. Gymnasts move fast. If they're not in good shape, they'll get very tired, like me. Another gymnastic event is the floor exercise. Gymnasts who do floor exercise move around the most. Here, gymnasts jump, dance, and do other things to show their skills. During their routine, they need to touch all four corners of the floor. Phew! Oh, I'm tired. I think I'll just sit here for a minute. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a seat. Oh. Actually, it's not a seat. It's a pummel horse. The pummel horse is an event only for boys. The gymnasts who train for this event need strong arms and good balance. This event also needs good leg work. I can't do it. I guess I'm not strong enough. Yahoo! 
I think I finally found an event that I can do. <laughs> the trampoline. <laughs> this is fun. Yep, this is also a gymnastic event. <laughs> well, everyone, I hope you had fun today learning about the different gymnastic events. I'll see you next time on the go. Song time. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day we've waited for. Our hopes are high, and we will try to do our best to score. We want to take the chance to break a record that was set before. The team and coach are ready to compete with all the other teams we hope to beat So everybody give a cheer for the Olympics this year This is the day, this is the day, this is the day we've waited for The crowd is gathered Thank you for joining us today for our Saturday show. You did a fantastic job reviewing. Now join us again next week here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye -bye.